What's up YouTube, Pete here. A couple days ago I took the ST out. I was gonna do a couple pool videos, some zero to 60s, quarter miles, whatnot, and uh, had some major problems. I got into boost pretty good and uh, the car started bucking and kind of stalling and stuff. And I thought maybe one of the intercooler pipes blew off or something. So I limped it back home and it would seem like every time I would hit about five pounds of boost or more, the car would start bucking and stuttering. So I got a little worried about it and I tore everything apart, double checked everything and everything was checked out. So I got in contact with Cobb and they wanted me to do some third gear 2500 to you know full boost or whatever pulls. I couldn't even do that. You know, I did what I could and logged it, logged it and sent it to him and just wasn't enough data. So I started thinking, you know, it seemed to me like it was a fuel problem, like a fuel cutout or it wasn't getting enough fuel pressure. So what I ended up doing was taking uh, the end of the fuel pressure regulator off, you know, after I primed the fuel pump and pulled it off and the fuel only dribbled out of there. So that was telling me, okay, it's definitely a fuel problem. So from there, I went ahead and uh, took the fuel pump out and lo and behold, there was an O-ring in there that was, it wasn't really smashed, it just was kind of off kilter a little bit. So I went ahead and pulled the whole thing apart, cleaned it up, put all new O-rings and reset everything. Put the fuel pump back in and took it out for a ride and <clears throat> running beautifully now. So uh, the last couple days I've been brainstorming and really worried that, you know, something broke. You know, everybody talks about Ringland failure and all this other crap. So, you know, I didn't know. You know, it is a stage three, Cobb stage three, so could have been anything but I'm so glad I figured it out you know I've been really doing a lot of research banging my head off the walls and it was as simple as an o-ring on the AEM fuel pump so I'm glad I got that sorted out but I literally took the top mount intercooler off like four times I just kept rechecking everything checking all the vacuum lines uh, even took the wastegate the little uh, from the actuator to the turbo took that off made sure the pill was in place uh, boost controller pulled off all the solenoids checked them make sure they were working everything was working properly so end state is if you ever have a problem like that where you go to get in boost and it starts bucking like a horse and uh, waste gates going nuts blow off valves going nuts uh, check your fuel pressure I may eventually go ahead and put a like a fuel gauge in line there so I can monitor pressure because without the little adapter that most cars have you know it's really hard to monitor your fuel pressure so I just kind of did it you know off the fuel regulator hoping you know I would get the pressure out of there and that's how I started my troubleshooting so I'll do a short little burst here let you see how it's reacting now and I just uh, reinstalled uninstalled and reinstalled the access port just to make sure everything was straight Let me drop it down here a little bit put in sports sharp good and we'll get in the boost a little yeah reason it's only going to about 15.9 is usually have to drive it for 50 miles or so and let the tune kind of figure out things and then it, it'll walk back up I normally get around 17.9 18 which is right at target so I'm just happy to have this thing driving again. 